Hey, this is Colin from Blackjack Apprenticeship, and it's one thing to count a game where all the cards are face up the entire time, but how do you keep an accurate count with a face down game like most single and double deck blackjack tables? We just finished filming a couple dozen new videos, both improving old videos and adding two new videos for our paid video course. And since a lot of people on YouTube have asked me how to count a face down game, I thought I would share the video we just recorded on how to count a face down blackjack game. So without any further ado, here's our video. Imagine you're this player right here and you're able to see your hand. In a face-up game, you would see all the cards on the table. Well, here, you only see your own cards and sometimes you're gonna see the cards of the person next to you and sometimes you're not. Let me back up and tell the story of how we dealt with this with the church team. We're running this team and players are flying around the country with as much as $100,000 playing blackjack and when we trained players, we trained them at a face-up game. And then we we're like, oh yeah, you know, figure it out with, with everything else. And we didn't actually train them. And I remember asking a guy on our team, Mike, I said, Mike, how do you deal with a face down game? How do you deal with counting the other player's cards? And he said, I can usually remember if I saw the other player's cards or not, and I'll count them when I see them. And I said, you can usually remember? That is not good enough. Imagine that you count your own hand, you've got D1 and the dealer's card makes it D2. You see this guy's card, so you go D1, you see their cards, 0, 1, and then it plays out. So it was 1, 0, D1, D2, D3, and then they flip these over, and you forgot they already counted these, and you count them, the other player's cards, again. In this scenario, you would have double count these cards, meaning you're off on your running count by a running plus three. In a double deck game, that means that your true count is off by a true one, or if there's a deck and a half left, your true count's off by a true two. If there's a deck left, your true count is off by a true three. That is a horrendous mistake to have the running count or the true count off that much. When I discovered that players on our team are playing with six figures and trying to remember if they saw the player's cards or not, I thought we need a foolproof system. Just like we have it with a face-up game, we need a way to count the cards once and only once, all the time, follow that same procedure, every single hand of double deck. And that's when we started, one, testing out our players at double deck specifically to make sure they could play and keep the count perfectly. But secondly, showing them, hey, here's the way that we're gonna teach you to count it. So whether you use this way or another way, I don't care. You just need a foolproof system to never be off on the running count but this is the way I recommend it. What we're gonna do is count cards. We're gonna count our own hand and the dealer's card, and then every other card, whether it's another player's hand or a face-up card, we're gonna count it only when it's flipped over and fully exposed, never to be face down again. So in this situation, we look at our hand, we got D1, and with the dealer's card, we've got D2. And this guy, even if you see these two cards, you're not gonna count them. So we're saying D2, he's gonna take a hit. D3, he tucks his cards. We're gonna take a hit. D4, tuck our cards. Even if you see this guy's cards, you're not gonna count them. He takes a hit. D5, tuck. D4, D5. At this point, cards are gonna get flipped over, and we'll count them. D4, D3, this was our own hand, so we don't count it again. And D2, count the cards once and only once by waiting till the cards are flipped over by the dealer to count them outside of our own cards and the dealer's hand. So just for practice, let's do another round. We had D2 at the end of that first round. I'm just gonna deal it out. We're gonna count the dealer's card, so D3. We've got canceling a neutral hand, so we're at D3. This guy is gonna stay. We're gonna take a hit. We bust, still at D3. This guy takes a hit, busts. Now we're gonna count their hand, and it's a canceling, so we're still at D3. And then D2, 
D1 and D2. Now there are some hands where they're going to get flipped over before the hand is all done. Let me show you an example. So we still had that D2. Now we're going to say D1 and our own hand cancels. So we're at D1. This player wants to split. So it's getting flipped over. So we're going to count this now. 0, 1, 2, 1. And then this guy is going to have flip his over because he wants to double. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4. And now this gets flipped. 5. This was our hand. Still 5 and six. That's the way to count when the cards get flipped and are not going to be face down again. Now we got a six. We got like a true four. Throw those bets out there, make the money. One other suggestion if you're going to be playing a lot of double deck or even single deck is to learn how to divide by half deck increments rather than just dividing by full deck amounts. We can already divide by two and one. So that means adding to our game, dividing by a deck and a half remaining. And if you get good enough deck penetration, dividing by half a deck. Well, half a deck is actually really easy because with half a deck left, your true count is just going to be double your running count. So if you remember in division, if you take a number, divide it by a half, you actually take that number in your numerator and multiply it by two. So if you have a running four, you have a true eight with half a deck left. Running two, you have a true four with half a deck left. So really, when you know that trick, all you need to do is learn how to divide by a deck and a half. That just takes a little practice to learn how to you know, skip count by a deck and a half, one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, and so on. Take the time to master your counting system to be able to divide accurately by half deck amounts so that you can maximize your edge, make sure you're not playing with a disadvantage by getting off on your rank count and your true count and beating those double deck games. Hopefully that was helpful. As I said, this is part of our paid video course that comes with our membership along with training drills, betting software, a casino database, members forum, a bunch of other features. If you're serious about card counting, you can check all of that out at blackjackapprenticeship.com.